Good morning. Today is another travel day. I'm heading towards the bus station to take that four hour bus ride to Estonia. Um, if it's anything like the bus ride I took from Vilnius to here in Riga, then it should be fine because that was quite comfortable. The station is actually all right. You could leave your luggage just here. You got toilets. They even have a place where you can sleep and take a shower as well. You have to pay, obviously, but yeah, it's not too bad. Just needs a bit of refurbishment, I think. <laughs> so the bus is finally here. Billions. Same comfortable seat. Oh, actually, this one is a bit leathery. Let's get like more cushion in your head. So that's really good. Um, we've also got screen for movies. So we're just about to leave. Goodbye, Riga. Talent, here we come. After four hours, we have arrived. You guys, welcome to Tallinn. It is a little bit colder here <laughs> than in Riga. I think mainly because of the wind. It's been cold and windy here in Tallinn so far. The good thing is it's sunny. So, so yeah, I'm heading out to explore the old town. entrance to the old town looks epic. That looks like um, those castles in Game of Thrones. It's just too cold and windy today, so I think we're gonna continue this tomorrow. Um, hopefully, the weather will be a lot better. Good morning, everyone. I didn't expect Tallinn to be this cold. <laughs> Coming from Lithuania and Latvia, where the weather was pretty much mild, it is freezing in here. <laughs> and it was mainly because of the wind. And looking at the forecast, I don't think the wind will stop howling anytime soon. So yeah, we kind of need to brave the weather and explore the old town just there behind me. Based on my research, I found out that this old town is one of the most well-preserved old town in Europe. And that's a good thing. The bad thing is that because of Tallinn's location, which is next to the ocean, there's a lot of cruise ships here. So you kind of have to share it with, you know, cruise ships, passengers. So it's doubly important for us today to be inside the old town very early in the morning when everyone has not arrived yet. So just behind me is uh, Vero Gate. What's amazing about this entrance is that on its side, there's loads of flower vendors, and it does make you feel like you've been welcomed to the old town. I just turned a corner and this feels like I've been transported to a different century. <laughs> Look at the street. 
apparently this block of stones just on the side are tombstones from the 14th and the 15th century. building there is a Thailand town hall and this is called the Thailand town hall square back in medieval time this is the center of town I just love that there's no one else here oh actually I can say about two people <laughs> two other people but it's it's great to have this whole place to yourself because it's not that often that this happens considering that you know cruise ships are just there <laughs> a few meters away so yeah it's good The old town is actually not that big, so it's perfect for someone like me who's not very good at direction. So it's hard to get lost in it. Just behind me is the Parliament of Estonia and then in front of it there is a massive cathedral called Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. I wonder if having a church in front of a Parliament building does anything to how the people in the Parliament building act. <laughs> This viewing platform offers a panoramic view of the old town and on the newer part of the city as well and even towards the sea, Baltic Sea. You can even see some of the cruise ships. <laughs> the passengers might still be having breakfast which is why there's no one here with me. <laughs> That gate behind me is called Long Leg Gate. I'm not sure why, <laughs> but I've just read it on uh, the inscription on it. So that's about it for now. I'm gonna head back to my hotel and have breakfast. I'll come back later when everything is open because it's Sunday today. So <laughs> normally things, places are open a little bit later on a Sunday. So yeah, I will see you later. So I had an Estonian breakfast today, which consists of rye bread, a fried egg, a slab of meat, fried potatoes, and pickled cucumber, which is quite nice, quite filling, which is why I need to burn my calories. And now I'm walking towards a massive bar just outside the city. It's about maybe an hour or a bit walk from here so yeah that should be that should be good
This area looks so nice. The trees and everything else are well manicured. Just in front of me is a very fancy looking museum. I'm not sure for what though. I'm gonna have to check it out. I'm just at the back of the museum and it looks even more epic from, <laughs> from back here. <laughs> Look at that. Before it became an art museum, this Baroque palace was once a summer residence of the Russian royalty, commissioned by Tsar Peter the Great of Russia for his wife Catherine. In 1921, this palace became the main site for the art museum in Estonia. It's the only museum in Estonia dedicated to early European and Russian art. So I stumbled upon a Japanese garden. This looks incredible. Very zen. <laughs> what is it with Japanese gardens that you feel like you have to whisper when you're in them? So I came back here at the old town to check out the rest of the items on my list. Town Hall Pharmacy opened in 1422 and is the oldest continuously running pharmacy in Europe. There are display cabinets where you see some of the unusual items they were selling in the past. Speaking of unusual, there is a garden in Tallinn that has several busts of notable Scottish men. There's Sean Connery, the James Bond guy, Robert Burns, the Old Lang Syne guy, Alexander Fleming, the Penicillin guy, among others. My last stop for today is the Danish King's Garden. The legend is that this spot is where a flag descended from the sky during the Danish invasion of Tallinn. And it was this flag that turned the course of the battle in favor of the Danish King. The flag later became the national flag of Denmark. The sculptures of the three monks were added in 2011. They look creepy. Before I go, I want to introduce you to the food delivery robots. They're all over Tallinn and I find them fascinating and really cute. They're ubiquitous here that the locals are not even giving them a second look. Tourists like me, however, Follow them around to see if they can recognize traffic lights. Oh my god! <laughs> and they do! Incredible! I want this in my city! That's it for now. We'll continue exploring Tallinn tomorrow. And I will see you then. Kita kids! Or as you say here in Estonia, Nagimisht!